In the shooting game, long range precision is a specialty. The center, what you want? It requires patience, knowledge, and a will to learn from each shot you take. Yep, you did. Hitting a target a mile away is not something most shooters can do on a regular basis. For those who can, it's a sport unlike any other. Once you uh, have become familiar with that, it's just an amazing sport. And to be able to hear that steel ping at a thousand yards is an incredible feeling. You are going into the unknown. What's on the other side may know you're coming. The science behind long-range precision shooting involves wind, range, and proper form. It also requires the right tool for the job. There's not one component on this rifle that you could look at and say, that's a cheap component. Meet Ken Hagen. He owns H&H &H Precision Rifles. He is a nationally famous gunsmith with a passion for knocking off targets at long range. Basically, when I was in uh, high school, just started tinkering. I would uh, tear any gun apart just to tear it apart and put it back together like a lot of gun owners do. But then uh, I started modifying guns and kind of started from there. And when I turned uh, my early 20s, I got down to where I started to buy some machinery, some equipment, starting to do a little bit more work. We live in a day and age, the world has changed. And really what you need to do is you need to find a niche, find something you're good at and be the best at it. So I uh, started putting my emphasis on long range precision, high power match shooters. Uh, that was always my passion. I was a match competitor, high power, NRA high power, and uh, very passionate about that. I started doing that because I really didn't like spending the money I was spending on some of the builds I was doing, uh, having built for me. So I started just building my own match rifles and I dovetailed in from there. And what I learned is taking high-end components and machining and paying a close attention to detail, you can actually develop a very consistent product that is, uh, from one rifle to the next, a, a very accurate competitive rifle. Welcome to Central Oregon. As you can see behind me, we've got a lot of range out here to do some long distance shooting. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. We're gonna be shooting movers. We're gonna be shooting out to a mile. We've got some friends with us from the industry that are gonna join us. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Come with us. We left Portland this morning with the best intentions. Wouldn't you know it, it's gonna be a two hour trip turned into a four hour endeavor. We come across about everything that could have come in our way. We had detours, we had ice, we had snow, we had rain, we had events we didn't even know we had. Get this, we actually stopped at a gas station and we could not even get back to our cars. It was like trying to get people in the truck so we can get going was like the main event of the morning. But I wonder what the guy behind the counter is thinking. <laughs> Look at these jack wagons. <laughs> a lot of country out there, so uh, Carl, where are the targets at today? Basically, we're going to start here at 100, uh, get some zero targets going for people who want a zero. And then from there, we got a, a nine inch target at three, and then it just goes out in 100 meter increments on out. We have the mover at approximately 450, and I think our furthest target is a two foot by two foot square uh, at t approximately 1200 meters. So. There's some other steel out there too. All ours is painted with an orange and, and green slash on it, so we'll be able to pick it out and we'll hear the difference when we start hitting, smacking our steel. We'll, we'll hear that ring. All right, man, let's go have some fun. Modern Shooter is brought to you by Colt. Built one at a time, proven every round. By FN, world's most battle proven firearms. By Aguila Ammunition, feed your firearm. By H&H &H Precision Rifles, for shooters who demand performance by Killer Innovations on the cutting edge of design for the firearms and archery industry, and by Mega Arms, taking precision to the next level. Up next, what does it take to hit a target at a thousand yards? 
But first, we head to the line to get the inside scoop of what it takes to succeed in a match. You're watching Modern Shooter. What makes a legacy? Is it quality? Craftsmanship? Maybe it's the idea that every American deserves their right to security and peace of mind on and off the battlefield. What makes a legacy? Here at Colt, we're making it every day. Colt, built one at a time, proven every round. We are warriors, shouldered by the bravest of the brave. We are tortured, tested on the battlefields, cherished in foxholes, and proven worthy in the trenches. We are the genes of greatness, the backbone of bravery, the legacy of legends in the palm of your hand. We are FN, and we are the world's most battle-proven firearms. H&H &H provides the most reliable precision accuracy rifles suited for the harshest environments. What sets H&H &H Precision apart is they don't just say they can do it, they prove it. H&H &H Precision. <laughs> for shooters who demand performance. Gun Digest. We know guns, so you know guns. Handgun training, rifle shooting, shotguns, gunsmithing, cartridges and reloading, pricing and collecting. GunDigestStore.com is also home to the world's greatest gun book, the Gun Digest Annual. Visit today and check out our shooting accessories, targets, lights, holsters and gun care products. Gun Digest Store. We know guns, so you know guns. At the Line is brought to you by Colt. There are a lot of elements to having a successful match performance, and you have to really break it down stage by stage, step by step. Now, when I step up to a stage, I'll have a range officer behind me who's going to give me a series of commands. Make ready. After he gives me the first command, load and make ready, I'll of course do that. The next command, shoot Stand a ready, by. it's really more of a question and I use that time to really make sure one last mental check that I have all of my gear ready. If I'm not ready, I'll tell the range officer, but if I am ready, I'll give him a shake of the Stand head by. and I'll get into position. I'll really solidify my stance, feet shoulder width apart, kind of leaning forward a little bit, my momentum, uh, my energy going forward. I'll put my hands down into the position, the start position, so that the only thing that needs to move once I get the command beep is straight to the draw. The start of the stage really dictates your pace throughout the rest of it, so it's always important to get everything in position for a perfect, perfect start. So I've got a little mini stage set up and I'm gonna take you through and break it down and show you what I'm thinking exactly and what my plan of course is for all the action. So right off the start, um, I've got two paper targets available to me. So two shots each, I'm gonna aim for the A zone. So it'll be two, four. I'm gonna move around this corner and with my unloaded firearm, I wanna show you something crucial for the stage. It's really important that when you're having any kind of movement throughout the stage that the finger comes off of the trigger and outside of the trigger guard and that the firearm itself stays pointed downrange in a safe direction. That just helps you to maintain control of the firearm and if there were anything to happen during the stage, if you were to trip, fall, whatever, the finger is outside of the trigger guard and the firearm is always pointed in a safe direction. So I've got two targets available to me right here. The first one's really easy to see. I can spot that right away. The second one is hidden behind the barrel, so I'm gonna have to come around the corner, a couple additional steps to engage that next target. Now I've come up to my third position that's got an MGM propeller target system ahead of me, and so I'm gonna plan my strategies so that I can minimize the movement of the propeller. 
This is my last position. I've got the MGM Whirly gig ahead of me. Same concept as the propeller. I want to plan out my target engagement, how I'm going to hit those individual plates to minimize the movement of the Whirly gig. Once I finish that, I'll end on the last paper target, kind of a long range shot for a pistol stage. So here it goes, let's go shoot. So I'm shooting single stack division with my 1911 from Colt. So that limits me to 10 rounds in the magazine. So I have to pre-plan where I want to reload during the stage. That way it doesn't take me by surprise. So right off the start, I have four targets, eight rounds, and I'm gonna plan my reload after that eighth round into the next target position. If you are finished, unload and show clear. If you are clear, hammer down and holster. So you can see that there are a lot of elements on how to plan for a USPSA style stage. From pre-planning how you want to get your start position to figuring out where you're going to reload and planning in advance how you want to engage all of the targets. It's super complex, but when it all comes together, it's a great feeling and it's so much fun. And if it doesn't quite come together, well, then you know you need more practice time on the range. This, this sport is just growing leaps and bounds over the years. Ten years ago, uh, you might have seen possibly two or three tactical matches in a particular state a year, uh, maybe 15 or 20 nationally. Uh, to date, now, this weekend, any other weekend, you can almost always find a tactical, tactical match somewhere in the country to go shoot. Welcome to the world of long-range precision shooting. Hitting any target at 1,000 yards is a challenge. Then there are the targets that add to the challenge. Well, what we've done is we've taken the, uh, the, the targets, steel targets, and, and put it on a mover, a trolley. Uh, my partner is from the, uh, the logging industry. Uh, so basically, he built this thing that uh, can carry logs, so uh, 25 piece of, a 25 pound piece of steel runs back and forth all day. And the reason that's important for a moving target is, yeah, if you shoot a stationary, you're hunting an animal or whatever you're doing, once that first round goes, everything's moving. Now you need to get good at hitting moving targets. Uh, so we've got everything from slow to stop and goes, reverse directions, um, and change speeds, and the whole gamut. <laughs> Gotta love it. I think what's driving that in the industry is it's kind of a race in the industry with these accessories. We're seeing these uh, manufacturers just climbing over the top of each other. Every year we're seeing this big, uh, influx of new products coming out and it's really coming down to it's almost like buying a computer you buy a new computer today next week it's outdated that's how fast the industry is moving so you're seeing a lot of really good stuff come out that's becoming available to the public and uh, I think that's just driving the uh, entire industry including the shooters uh, to get more involved with the sport it's, it's really kind of cool some of the stuff we have available to us today got it I'm Creed McCaslin, and I am the tactical shooter and director of training for Aggie Ammunition. A lot of people don't know that Aggie Ammunition has actually been around since 1961. They are actually also the largest producer of rimfire 22 caliber ammunition in the entire world. As of now, we have 19 different product lines of 22 caliber ammunition within our industry, and uh, continuing to grow. And you know, from there. You know, it allows us to do so many more things and have so many other opportunities with different variations of weapon systems on the 22 caliber platform. The nice thing, you know, with that is having that diversity, but along with that, make sure that you get the right ammunition for your weapon system. Sometimes it can be a little bit confusing, and somebody will get a box of 22 LR, don't understand it's subsonic, it's designed for a bolt gun, they'll put it in a weapon that's not designed for it. So just make sure that you get the right, you know, product line of that 22 caliber ammunition, then that way you'll find that you'll have no issues whatsoever with the ammunition 
that you're firing in your weapon systems. I've shot personally over 80,000 rounds of ammunition from Aggie Ammunition, and I've had zero failures of ammunition. I've had a couple problems with weapons, that happens, but I have actually had zero failures with the ammunition itself. So go ahead and check out the 22 caliber rimfire line of products within Aggie Ammunition, and go have a fun day on the range. The world of a gunsmith can be an ever-changing adventure. Every day is different, but it requires a life of detail, knowledge, and patience. Ken Hagen is one of those gunsmiths. He's brought a group of good friends to a range in Central Oregon to put his rifles to the test. I can actually put a hit on target so quickly after picking up that rifle. And, 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 and dialing in the dope like I've been told to and you know, actually working a ballistic calculator like it's supposed to be done, it, uh, it's almost like addicting. It's, you get that fever, you get that itch. Uh, and uh, that's what it's about and that's what the shooting sport is and the industry. The people that he has on his team are at the top in the country and I'm honored to be there and uh, I, I feel that if we all together are shooting Ken's product, it's a good thing, it says a lot. To me, it's a great um, uh, feeling of pride and accomplishment. When I have such a, a strong shooting team backing the, the, the company up and they're going out and, and they're winning and they're having a great time doing it and they're promoting the product, uh, I, I see the Facebook posts, I see the Instagram, I get the emails. There's a, a, a level of pride and it just makes you feel good when you've provided something that you put together, created, built, and somebody took that firearm out and got the elk of their lifetime or you know, uh, won a championship match or a world record or any of the above. Talk to any successful gunsmith. He has to have passion and desire. Hagen has both, but credits much of what he knows currently to the man working in this shop. And if I put the hours that I put over, if I, add the hours that I'm here, I don't make, you know, too much, but I like it. This is Mike Palazzo, a world-famous gunsmith who started his craft in Italy before World War II. Um, Mike was always about making you a better gunsmith. His passion for gunsmith is, um, is just very unique. I mean, he wants everybody to be a good gunsmith. He's one of those guys, and it's just a really unique individual. When he moved to the U.S., of course, at that point in time, if anybody knows anything about the Italians, back in that day, they were the king of machinists. I mean, when they built something, it was the best in the world. And he used that talent to build some of the finest firearms in the U.S. I mean, he's uh, built some incredibly uh, accurate long-range rifles. Uh, his uh, craftsmanship was second to none. Still is to this day. Uh, he's still active, uh, still in the shop every day working on guns. Uh, quite the unique individual. I treat also a guy that is in Alaska that he wants just ant bears. And so he brought me this rusty thing. I had a barrel that is still, you know, pretty good. So I had to drill it up for the scope. He wants to decide in case the scope, you know, in the woods get bad. I cut the military bolt and uh, I, I weld this bolt over here so you can put the scope and that's it. So you'll be tickle pink. Uh, one thing he did with me is when I started building muzzle brakes as a young, younger uh, gunsmith, uh, we start building your own muzzle brakes. You know, he'd come over and he'd show you the tricks of building muzzle brakes. And it was just quite unique uh, to have somebody that says, this guy is going to be my direct competitor, lives right down the road, and yet I'm going to show him everything he asked me to show him. Yeah, your cheek just drops right where it's supposed to be. See? Yeah. You don't have to work no. for the to find the scope. First of all, I see the will that he had, and the passion, and the enthusiasm about gun, about shooting, first of all, and about how the gun they are made. It's not just like people that they go and they shoot three, four times before the hunting season. No, he had passion for the firearm. And when you have passion, you can do anything because your mind is always 
working to do things better than you did before. And that is the name of the game for everything, for all kinds of jobs, not just for the gunsmith. I don't advertise, I don't do nothing. It's just people that they put me on internet, on uh, Facebook, all this modern stuff that uh, I really don't know nothing about. Coming up next, the art of making long range precision rifles is a challenge. Having one of these in your hands, ready to shoot, is a privilege. You're watching Modern Shooter. We bear the DNA of legends. Of John Moses Browning, the father of modern firearms. Of the artisans and craftsmen who brought his genius to life. We bear the DNA of the brave souls who defended our freedom on the front lines for the last 100 years and the brave souls who defend it on the home front today. We are FN, and we are the world's most battle-proven firearms. What makes a legacy? Is it quality? Craftsmanship? Maybe it's the idea that every American deserves their right to security and peace of mind on and off the battlefield. What makes a legacy? Here at Colt, we're making it every day. Colt, built one at a time, proven every round. H&H &H provides the most reliable precision accuracy rifles suited for the harshest environments. What sets H&H &H Precision apart is they don't just say they can do it, they prove it. H and H Precision <laughs> for shooters who demand performance. At Gun Digest, we know guns, so you know guns. Handgun training, rifle shooting, shotguns, gunsmithing, cartridges and reloading, pricing and collecting. GunDigestStore.com is also home to the world's greatest gun book, the Gun Digest Annual. Visit today and check out our shooting accessories, targets, lights, holsters, and gun care products. Gun Digest Store. We know guns, so you know guns. Modern Shooter is brought to you by Colt. Built one at a time, proven every round. By FN, world's most battle-proven firearms. By Aguila Ammunition, feed your firearm. By H&H &H Precision Rifles, for shooters who demand performance. By Killer Innovations, on the cutting edge of design for the firearms and archery industry. And by Mega Arms, taking precision to the next level. There it is. The world of long-range precision shooting is a precise one that attracts some of the best shooters in the world. That requires the highest in quality. Ken Hagen is a top gunsmith with H&H &H Precision. Not only does he work to create high-end precision rifles, he also credits many in the industry who are working with him. We started developing the chassis. I knew that he was really into, into this PRS scene and he had a shooting team and everything. So I reached out to him and asked him if he would, you know, be willing to work with us on the design development and some of the beta testing that we needed for that chassis to make sure that we had a chassis that wasn't just something that I thought was cool, but it was something that was actually functional and usable in the field and something that these shooters would um, appreciate. Ken's product is above all else, I think, the attention to detail that he puts in there, and uh, each component is top of the line. And when they're all put together, there's just nothing like it. I mean, it just shoots laser beams, and it's really exciting to see that happen. In a world where more and more gunsmiths are popping up, there are fewer who are actually applying their craft. Some think if they put a component on a gun, that makes them a gunsmith. In reality, it's much more than that. 
to get the next rifle perfect each time is a goal of his on every precision rifle he produces. If you're gonna put a guarantee on a firearm, you have to have all the best components and attention to detail on the manufacturer of that firearm. If not, you're gonna have a very unhappy customer and you're gonna be dealing with that customer and that's the last thing we want. We want good people coming back saying good things about us. We don't wanna have a problem. So uh, we should start with the best and we end with the best and that's why we are the best. I see the future of long distance precision. It is the future of shooting sports. I, I honestly believe that it's infinite challenges out there. I mean, uh, when you're dealing with conditions and different uh, terrains and that, that create different conditions, you're never going to see a lot of the same things twice. When you walk into, say, a long range tournament or out in the field in the hunting scene, you don't know what cards you're going to be given. So it's it's just interesting. There's nothing you can just like walk out and have any anticipation of what's going to happen. What happens is what happens that day. They always say, you know, Ken, why would you want to build a gun where you can hit a long range uh, shot, you know, for a big game animal at 800 yards? Well, sometimes we find them where we find them. We don't always have the opportunity for a close range shot. And if you practice that shot and you go out and you learn to shoot and you actually apply the ballistics and the methods and the shooting positions, and, and it's an ethical shot. A lot of people think that the long range shooting is unethical. I totally disagree with that. What's unethical is making a shot at that range and not being prepared to make that shot. They go out and buy a magic scope like some of these manufacturers claim or buy the magic bullet that if you buy this bullet and you put it in the gun, you're gonna go out and hit these animals at 800 yards. That is not what we're all about in long range shooters. Long range shooters, we're about being ethical. That's why we go out and practice these long shots. You know, sometimes in practice thousands of times a year. Uh, so when we do get out in the field, we do make the right wind calls, we do dial the right dope, and we make the right shot. Got it.